President Kamala Harris just left Atlanta. Within the last hour, the VP was here for a talk about preventing gun violence with Georgia rapper Quavo. Atlanta News First political reporter Doug Reardon is live at 5. And Doug, this is something that disproportionately impacts the black community here in Georgia. Right. We learned today the vice president told us one in 10 black Americans will at some point become affected by gun violence. And they even asked the large crowd of about 200 people here today during one point when both Quavo and the vice president were on stage, who has been impacted by gun violence. Just about every hand in that audience went up, as did Quavo's. He has been impacted by gun violence in his life. His music partner, as well as his nephew, rap superstar Takeoff, was killed in a fire, killed by a firearm in 2022. That is what led Quavo to launch his Rocket Foundation, which hosted today's summit here at the Carter Center. Harris also helped found and leads the White House Gun Violence Prevention Office, so they joined the panel together. She said the administration is now focusing on the trauma that gun violence causes for survivors survivors and families of victims and as well as the proper way to give thoughtful treatment to those folks. For too long people have acted as though the body starts from the neck down. Well what about the health care we need from the neck up? That's health care. And so mental health care is important but we got to put the resources into it and the thing that we know is we need to have culturally competent mental health care providers. It was an interesting week for gun safety advocates, kind of a setback for them. The U.S. Supreme Court actually overturned a ban on bump stocks. Those are the devices that make semi-automatic uh, weapons fire quicker. They were what was used in that deadly 2017 shooting in Las Vegas. At the Carter Center, Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First. All right, Doug.